So another very interesting problem here where a projectile is thrown with a velocity v0 but this time on an inclined plane and this is your inclined plane here. So the question is that after what time would the projectile hit the inclined plane? So the information given is that v0 is 20 meters per second. The angle of incline is 45 degrees and the angle of projection to the incline is 30 degrees. So to solve this problem what we'll do is we'll take a new frame of reference where this is x and this is y. So you have a new frame of reference in which x and y is actually moved up by an angle of 30 degrees. And let's say this is y. Quickly realize that in this frame of reference, g would have different values. So g which acts in this direction would have a component for this frame of reference in this direction for the vertical direction and you would also have a g component in the horizontal direction for this frame of reference and we know that if this angle is 45 degrees this would also be 45 degrees and therefore if this is g then your g in this direction would be g cos 45 and g in this direction would be g sine 45. Now we can quickly also resolve the components of velocity over here. So you'll have a vertical component of velocity which can be shown like this. This is your vertical component of velocity and let's call this v0 sine 30. And you would have a horizontal component of velocity which would be in this direction and you can call this v v not cos 30. Now with this information part one of the problem is that what is the time taken to hit the inclined plane after projection. So what we'll do is we'll use the equation vertical displacement y is equal to initial velocity into time minus half gt squared and we know that uh, the on this inclined plane the vertical displacement is zero because it starts from here and hits hits over here so on the left hand side we'll put y value or y displacement as zero here v naught would not be v naught but v naught sine 30 or the initial velocity in the vertical direction time t is what we have to find minus half g would not be g but it will be g cos 45 so we'll write g cos 45 instead of g into t square and if you solve for t if you if you put the value of v naught as 20 meters per second and solve for t what you'll get is t is equal to 2 root 2 seconds now the second part of the problem is what is the range on the inclined plane or if we label this as a and this point as b what they're asking is what is this distance b covered by the projectile on the horizontal plane so the equation we'll use over here is the horizontal displacement x or you can call it a b is equal to initial velocity into time minus half g t square so a b is equal to initial velocity in the horizontal direction now is v naught cos 30 times t minus g in the horizontal direction is g sine 45 so remember you know when we when we take this as a frame of reference there's no gravity acting in the horizontal direction but since the frame of reference has changed there is a g value and it is g sine 45 acting against the motion of the particle so and that's the reason you're getting a negative sign over here minus half g sine 45 times t squared and we know that the total time of travel is 2 root 2 seconds we know v naught is 20 meters per second and if you substitute these values what you'll get is a b is equal to 
Now the third part of the problem is what is the maximum height attained on the inclined plane or they're asking for this distance maximum height of the projectile on the inclined plane so let's call this h and we know that when it attains maximum height the projectile attains maximum height the velocity in the vertical direction ceases it is zero because if it was there it would have gone up further so we'll make use of this fact and write that final velocity v is equal to zero is equal to initial velocity which is v naught sine 30 minus g times t but g over here uh, we should remember is g cos 45 into t so to attain this maximum height time t is equal to we know v naught sine 30 upon g cos 45 and if we substitute the value of v naught what you'll get is t equals root 2 seconds so it takes root 2 seconds to attain this maximum height so now we'll make use of the equation displacement in the vertical direction h is equal to initial velocity which is v naught sine 30 into time of travel minus half gt square and remember g here is g cos 45 into t square and if we substitute the value of t as root 2 seconds what you'll get is h is equal to 5 root 2 meters now this this is the vertical distance which we've just calculated as 5 root 2 meters so you could also be asked what is this distance let's call this h dash it, it should be quite simple because if this is 45 degrees this would also be 45 degrees in which case this is a simple triangle and you can say that cos 45 is equal to base base here is h upon the hypotenuse that that's the distance you want to find which is h dash and therefore h dash would equal to h upon cos 45 or this is equal to 5 root 2 upon cos 45 which will yield h dash as about 10 meters.